Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com. This is the HTC One X for AT&T. It's also known as the One XL in international markets. It's a 4G LTE Android device. It features a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. This dual-core processor runs the latest generation of ARM technology. It's significantly faster than the Tegra 3 in our tests. It's available starting on May 6 for $199.99 on a two-year contract. Okay, so let's open up the uh, AT&T One X's box. It's a little quick start uh, poster right here. Here is the device powered up. And pull off the protective cover. Uh, right here, um, we have the tool that's used to uh, pop out the micro SIM slot, the tray. So you pull out the rest of the box here. Uh, micro USB cable attaches to the charger. Cool white color scheme. Matches the phone. Uh, an extra IMEI label. There's one on the back of the phone as well. Um, safety regulatory information and some promotional stuff and warranty information as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of the highlights of the hardware. Um, you really ought to check out my in-depth look at the European version of the One X since everything's almost the same. Uh, there's a few differences I'll point out here. Uh, we've got the same 4.7 inch display, 720p HD resolutions. Um, same form factor as well. Um, the AT&T version has the exact same body as the EU version. Uh, the only difference is it weighs one gram more. It comes in at 134.9 grams. Uh, also, it has 16 gig of storage instead of the 32 gig of storage that was in the European spec version. Main difference, though, is the chipset inside. This uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 uh, dual core processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. It has a dual core crate processors. Uh, those are the next generation Cortex A15 ARM architecture as opposed to the EU version, which runs on a quad core Tegra 3 device that uses the older A9 architecture. The result is in benchmark tests, um, every benchmark I tested, the dual core Qualcomm processor in the AT&T version of the One X, which is also known as the One XL and everywhere else in the world, um, the AT&T version was actually faster than the quad core Tegra 3 version of the original One X and every single benchmark, uh, web benchmarks, uh, data processing, network speed, everything. Uh, Slight differences though um, due to the chipset. The Wi-Fi is not as strong as in the Tegra device. It uh, has a little bit of trouble um, in terms of range by comparison to the original One X for the EU. Um, but like I said, it's faster in all the benchmarks. It's smoother, has better battery life, the same capacity battery, but it seems to get about maybe um, 5 or 10% better battery life overall. Processor um, also runs a lot cooler. So when I was running the benchmarks, the EU version of the One X with the Tegra 3 got really, really hot, whereas the dual-core version in the uh, One X for AT&T ran relatively cool. It was still warm, but it was not hot by any stretch. Um, and of course, this version also has LTE support for AT&T's network, which is a, a real boon when it comes to data speeds. And so the uh, HSPA Plus that you find in the EU version of the One X. Apart from that, the devices are pretty much identical. Um, they're still running the same Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich OS and uh, Sense 4.0 as well. You will find some different pre-installed applications, of course. Uh, AT&T bundles a bunch of applications in the One X version for AT&T, but as you'll find, you're able to disable almost all of them. So if I go into um, all apps here in the Manage Applications, scroll all the way down, because there are a lot of apps, you will find that I have almost all of the AT&T apps disabled, so they're no longer a bother, they don't use up any resources, and well, like City ID, which is an absolutely awful app, won't get in your way when you're making calls and things like that. And if you don't believe me that the two versions are identical in terms of uh, exterior hardware, you can see the AT&T HCC One X, uh, which is also marketed as the One XL in other markets, uh, in my left hand here. This is the original One X for Europe in my right hand. Uh, you can see AT&T written up top versus HTC. Otherwise, the fronts of the devices look exactly the same. Left-hand edge is where you'll find the micro USB charging port. 8 megapixel camera on the back. The uh, 
charging dock connectors on the right hand side here speaker at the bottom, the Beats logo three and a half millimeter headphone jack and the uh, micro sim tray right there by the power button and of course volume control on the right hand side these devices are absolutely identical color scheme placement of everything the only way you can tell the two apart is from the AT&T versus the HTC logo in the front if you want to see real differences between the devices though you start running some benchmarks you can see the quadrant here the uh, dual core Qualcomm Crate version scored a 4927, 4927, which outperformed the Tegra 3 quad core version with a 4831. Both of those devices, though, blowing away the uh, scores from the Samsung Galaxy Tab, of course. And here you see the multi thread version of Linpack, um, the Qualcomm device on the left for ATT, scoring 166 and two thirds. Uh, beating out the Tegra 3 version of the 1X, which scored a 149.4. In the single-threaded version of Linpack, though, you see that the Qualcomm version on the left um, basically doubles the performance of the Tegra 3. And even when it comes to graphics performance, the Qualcomm version with its Adreno GPU still outperforms the Tegra 3. Uh, you can see the Tegra 3 version scored 47.4 four frames per second on the Netamark 2 test uh, down here at the bottom 59.1 frames per second for the Qualcomm crate equipped version of the 1X for AT&T and for something perhaps a little more practical the Velamo web score this benchmark tests a lot of different web technologies um, graphics text flowing scrolling all that kind of stuff and you can see once again the Qualcomm version of the AT&T HTC 1X scored a 2204 2204 which uh, bested the 1515 from the Tegra 3 edition of the 1X by a quite a large margin. And to look at that a different way, you can see how the scores compared to the Asus Transformer Prime, which also runs the Tegra 3 processor. You can see that the HTC 1X with the Tegra 3 is still faster than the Transformer Prime, but the version with the Qualcomm chipset on the left is just so much faster. The only other real difference between the two devices that exist is the fact that the uh, unbranded HTC version for Europe on the right um, has an unlocked SIM card slot. The AT&T version, of course, is locked to AT&T. Apart from that, though, AT&T customers should not feel that they're getting shortchanged by not getting the quad-core version because the dual-core Qualcomm chipset in uh, the AT&T version of the HTC One X or the uh, international HTC One XL just simply outperforms it. Um, definitely getting the best of both worlds, faster processor and LTE data as well. So that's my quick look at some of the differences between the AT&T version of the HTC One X, also known as the LTE capable One XL in other markets, and the original HTC One X that uh, features the quad-core Tegra 3 processor. Um, it's an absolutely great device and for the price, uh, $200, um, there's just nothing at the moment that can beat it on AT&T. So if you're looking for a new Android smartphone on AT&T, the HTC One X is definitely the one to be looking at. For MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.